Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube, and uh, I've been doing a ton of interviews lately. Um, so I haven't had time to make a lot of videos, but I'm going to get back into it today. So um, this is, I'm going through data structures and algorithms from top, bottom to top. I'm, I'm doing, um, you know, bottom up method right now. And we're starting at some basics right now again. Uh, I know we've done harder problems than this, but we're going to, I'm just going to, I think just solidifying my understanding over and over again to the top is the best idea. So uh, I do all the hacker and complete code solutions. Check those out. Description has everything. But this one is data structures on hacker rank. This is print the elements of a linked list. So we're printing the elements of a linked list. Super basic. Um, if you don't know what a linked list is, it's just a data structure. And a data structure is just something that stores data. And um, we're doing Java. So it's just a data structure that we're going to use. It's used across many languages um, to store information uh, in a list kind of format where you have nodes that point to other nodes. So there's elements of the linked list are nodes. And you know nodes have different constructors. Our nodes in this case are going to have data. And they're going to have a next to point to the next node. So it's kind of a linear organization of data. Um, so if you're new to linked lists, it's a great exercise for you to learn about them. Give it a pointer to a head node. So there's a head node. Sometimes there's a head and a, um, sometimes there's doubly linked lists and singly linked lists. This one's a singly linked list, meaning the nodes only point to next nodes. Uh, lists have heads and tails. So the head node would point to the next one, then the next one, then the next one. And then finally we'd get to the end, which we'd point to null. So um, indicating the list is empty, don't print anything. So we're just going to loop through our list from head node. Point, so we're going to just go from head to the next to the next to the next until we get to the end of it and print out the value of each one, which is data in this case. Um, so the first line contains n, the number of elements in the list. The next contains um, each element. So we don't even have to worry about input. We just have to worry about output because if you look here, they already take the input and construct a list for us. You know, see they have the scanner and they get the integers and they construct the list nodes for us. So we're given a head. So first of all, if the head is equal to null, it says up here, if all we have to do is head pointer is null, indicating list is empty, don't print anything. So this is a void method. So head is, if head is null, we're just going to return. Do nothing, all right? Um, and then all we have to do from here is while head is not equal to null, we're going to print dot out dot print ln head dot data right so we would start at the head node we would print the heads data and then we just set head to head dot next um, and this would loop through the whole thing until we hit a null point and then we just we don't have to write return but yeah that's that's the whole challenge super easy so like I said we're starting from bottom up um, that's gonna print out all of our data that we need if this ever loads which it might never load Um, sorry guys, this is a uh, hacker. I don't know if it's like a Wi-Fi or something, but um, let me just refresh and then you know run this again. Seems like something's off here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's run this. That's what we had. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, something was weird there. There we go. So as you can see, all the test pa test cases passed. One thing I'd just like to add, I guess, is usually in these problems, you might want to reference the head node later on. So you might want to do, um, you might want to set a current node. So like current uh, node is equal to head. So you just set a new node equal to head and then you use current in place of head, you know? Because you might want to reference this back at the beginning because once we update this, you know, head is now changing each time and, you know, we're never going to have reference to it, so... Uh, just be aware of that. You might want to use current node instead. Uh, so either way you want to do it, but for this problem, I don't think it matters. But all right, thanks for watching. Check out the next ones. We're going from uh, bottom up here. So all right, see you.